Well, I've been putting in a number of hours over the last week or two uh, trying to get the CNC table up and running. And uh, I'm ready for my very first cut. Basically what I have done is I have gotten rid of the old 486 computer that was controlling it. I went ahead and bought this Ethernet smooth stepper board. It's interfaced with my laptop via this Cat5 cable right here. I am running the Mach 4 software on my laptop. And the smooth stepper generates the uh, pulse signals through the parallel cable here and sends it to my power supply box where my stepper motor drives are. And I actually had the table up and running a couple days ago. It took me a little bit of time to figure out why I couldn't get the torch to turn on and off. And I, the box had this circuit right here in it. And this is what was being used to step up the 5 volt signal from the parallel cable to turn the torch on and off. Uh, it turns out the old 486 was capable of sending more current to this. Uh, with the smooth stepper board it wasn't able to send enough current to actually bias these transistors and turn on some relays. So uh, I happen to have this 5 volt relay module right here from an old Arduino project. And so that worked perfect. I was able to just hook that up in place of the other board and now I can turn the torch on and off with the smooth stepper. I've got the machine torch right where I want it at its uh, soft home position and I have drawn up this uh, Suzuki emblem right here. I just went ahead and traced around the outside of an image of an actual Suzuki emblem and turned that into a, uh, a drawing file inside of A9CAD and then sent it through sheet cam for the G-code. Went ahead and loaded it into mock right here. So uh, first I'm just going to run through without the torch running and we'll watch and make sure it stays on the metal and does everything we think it's going to. And then if that works out well, we'll go ahead and enable the plasma cutter and uh, try and cut out the part. Well, it turned the torch on and off when I thought it was going to, and uh, stayed on the metal just fine. Everything looks like it worked well, so we'll go ahead and turn on the plasma cutter and watch it cut out a part. Alright, looks like my first successful part. Actually looks like it did a fairly good job here. Well, not too bad. I spent about 20-30 uh, seconds with the wire wheel and my bench grinder just to clean up the slag. But I didn't grind any of the cuts or anything like that and they actually look pretty good. There's a couple little steps and jogs and stuff in there. I think I could do better if I upgraded my stepper motors and the, uh, and the motor drives. But, more than acceptable. I'm plenty happy with it. So where's the Suzuki, Suzuki emblem going? It's going on this bumper right here. Building this bumper for one of my sidekicks. So I think I'm going to cut out another one of these and weld them right on these corners right here. All right, time to draw some more stuff up in AutoCAD and put this table to work.